everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So, with all the excitement and the drama last night with Benidorm Fest, I didn't get to bed until quite late. Um, anyway, completely went underneath the radar that Moldova picked their song last night. <laughs> it was only by scrolling through social media on my train back from um, Torino, Turin to Milan, or Milan that I even notice I was like oh so as soon as I saw the band's name I was like oh okay so this is a band that a lot of us are familiar with right um Zodobsi Zodub that's how I'm saying it <laughs> until someone corrects me which I'm sure they will um now I remember this band from 2011 I, I forgot they did it in 2005 where they came sixth but 2011 where they came 12th really strong so two pretty solid strong um Pretty solid showings for Moldova. I mean, the reason why I remember it is probably not for anything good. It's based on the fact of the really kind of garden gnome hats that they decided to go with and the random lady on a unicycle just cycling around with a trumpet, <laughs> just minding her own business. I remember watching it being like, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of either of their songs. I watched the 2005 song earlier. It's not really my thing, but I will say I was scrolling through like all of the songs. So Moldova um, premiered with Zudob in 2005. And actually there's been quite a lot of songs that I listen to even today. So some of these are like my personal favourites as well. So 2012, Pasha, love that song, came 11th. 2015, Edward, I Want Your Love. I mean, guilty pleasure. Yes, failed to qualify, but it's a guilty pleasure. 2018, Do Re Dos, My Lucky Day, where Philip Kerkorov comes in and basically medals with the Moldovan national final. Uh, anyway, really love that song and actually won some money on that song. Um, get anything in return, but that year I did. I remember seeing the semi semi-final, the rehearsal of Do Re Dos, and I'm quickly getting in there to get a bet on finishing top 10. So I've got some very good odds. And then last year, Natalia Gordienko, Sugar. Um, if you followed my channel from the beginning, you won't be surprised that I was a big fan of that song. I checked the other day. You can check your Spotify most played songs in the last like four weeks, six months, and of all time. In the last six months, that happens to be the third most played song <laughs> on my Spotify. Um, so as a result, like actually, I think Moldova as a country at Eurovision has um, given us some pretty decent songs. So um, I don't have much expectation for this. Um, it's obviously, I thought Philip Kirkeroff would continue with his, uh, yeah, connections with Moldova's entry, but I can only assume that that is not the case. And so Moldova's gone back to its roots, a Moldovan act, evidently, and I think probably everything about this is going to be Moldovan. So, let's check it out. Okay. Right, so Zudob, Z Zudob, and, oh, the Frati Advokov. I can only assume the, the two guys on the either side of the main singer is that. The guy with the violin and the guy with the uh, accordion. He looks different, the main singer. It's been a while since I've seen him. This song sounds nothing like their previous two. I'm loving the guy in the accordion. I want to be his friend. He looks like he's having a whale of a time. I kind of feel like I've been transported back like 10, 15 years. And just sitting, watching 
They're not beat song, which makes me smile. I don't even know if this sounds Moldovan because I don't even know what Moldovan sounds like in the sense of the music that comes out of that country. Moldova hasn't historically said the songs that are traditional. I'm loving the guy in the accordion and the violin. They, those two are making it for me. Which takes them doing Stevens, the main singer, is obviously all about high energy. Why is there an iPad there? The only reason why you'd have an iPad there is if you've got the lyrics there. Let's go. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Oh, look at the guy in the accordion and violin. They're like, no, it's not over. Please. <laughs> They're like, I'm assuming they are Fratty Advov because I can't work out who that is. So I'm assuming it's the dude with the violin and the dude with the accordion. Um, those two together, like, there were moments in that song where I felt like I was back at home with my parents as they were watching or as they watched the Irish music channel. <laughs> um, I do like a violin and I do like an accordion. Um, what do I think of that, Shane? What do I think of that? Um, I think I can say that that's probably my least favourite yet <laughs> out of all of the songs that have been selected. You can't even say like, Oh, it's fine. It needs a revamp. <laughs> you can't. I don't understand. But the problem is, I'm, I really... There, 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 there's so many national finals that are running at the moment that I just don't have the time to keep up with it. And I obviously know that there were songs vying for the ticket in Moldova, but I, I don't know what other choices they had. I mean, maybe someone could educate me. Please do. Please post other songs that I should listen to that maybe should have gone instead. Um, but I mean, go Moldova, sending a song that's the antithesis of <laughs> Natalia Gordienka, Sugar. It ain't no sugar. <laughs> um, for an English ear, it sounds very dated, um, but it made me smile. I want to forget Zudubsi Zadab. I, give me the, the two guys with the accordion and the violin. I want to go I want to go to a pub, have a few drinks, get out your violin, get out your accordion and we'll 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 jam. I'll sing some kind of Irish ditties that I've picked up off my parents and uh, and we'll make a night of it. <laughs> there we go. That's what I've taken away from that song. I've got a, I've now I've got a dream. <laughs> I want to be friends with those two people. They looked like they were loving life, but at the end, they were gutted. They're like, they were just carrying on at the end, being like, no, <laughs> I want to continue. Um, so I can't wait to see them into it. Um, but yeah, the song for me is a, is a, is a bit of a no-no. But it's really strange, because I was expecting something wacky, like we had in the last two entries that they sent. But this seemed to be a bit more kind of traditional and folky and a bit more stripped back on the crazy. But I guess in that studio, I mean, I guess a lot of the crazy last time was the staging and it didn't seem like you could do that. And moreover, he couldn't do that because I don't think he knew the lyrics. What was the iPad about? That is, you see that in concerts, you have the iPad if you need the lyrics. Well, gosh, it's extremely unfair to compare Benidorm Fest to what I was seeing there from Moldova, it, it's a really unfair comparison due to obviously money available, etc, etc. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a song. <laughs> it doesn't break the EVU rules as, as far as I can tell, and that's as much as I could say. 
So those are my thoughts. Please let me know what you think. If I got it wrong, are there some fans of the song out there? And please do let me know if there were other songs that were better and something's happened where this is one. Um, I don't know. They're probably a huge act in Moldova. And I don't even know how it was selected, whether it was jury, public vote. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping, and that's the good thing about my channel, that people educate me on that front. So yeah, um, if you haven't done so already, please do uh, subscribe. Please do click the notification button. And yeah, I don't think I'll be downloading that song. <laughs> don't think I'll listen to that song for a while. Um, but yeah, until next time, stay safe.